reopen it six years ago. Now volunteers like teacher Anne Evans spend their weekends on the trains. The pace of life is different. Um, there's no no bells ringing, although obviously there's a timetable to keep to, um, and there's not hordes of kids around the place all the time, so it's, it's a complete change. Anne's husband, normally a parcel manager for British Rail, is a volunteer driver. It's a sense of achievement to, to actually know that perhaps you've got the engine ready and whatever you're doing is, uh, is controlling it throughout. Uh, just the sort of love of steam, really, knowing that there's, it's boiling water turned into steam that's actually making the whole thing operate. Everything that's happening, all the power and everything, is happening here right under my feet and at my fingertips. Festiniog has its own engineering workshops and steam enthusiasts flock to discover more about the intricacies of the engine or to the accompaniment of an equally enthusiastic amateur band. Smoke goes through and, and heats the water. And if you look right in there, look right inside, there's a big hole down there, and that's where the fire is. With 13 miles of track, the railway's board of management needs all the new recruits it can muster. They've helped boost turnover to a million pounds a year. Can I interest you in a guy book to the railway? A quarter of a million tourists travel through one of the most scenic areas of Britain. The railway has travelled light years from its roots. It was a horse-drawn railway then. Uh, gravity uh, took the slates all the way down to the sea, and the uh, horses rode in the train, feeding, and when they got to the bottom, they were suitably refreshed and they pulled all the empty wagons up to the top again. It was the first railway to put uh, passengers on such a narrow gauge in uh, double bogey coaches. And when we first built uh, coaches, in fact, uh, there had to be special dip dispensation because it wasn't legal to carry passengers on such a narrow gauge. Now the little railway, which has refused to die several times, is embracing new technology. Some of its engines are diesel powered and they're looking at modern radio communications. Though the baton, a simple way of signifying permission to travel, has a charm all of its own. Which is perhaps more in line with the sort of railway all those visitors come so far to see. Gail Foley aboard the, the railway line that refuses to die. It's uh, a quarter to eight this bank holiday Monday morning.